Good morning, it's Joyce Cole. Morning. And I represent President for the Piscataway African American Seniors. And this session is called Blooming Where We're Planted. Now, who are we? We are the Piscataway African American Seniors. We all live in Piscataway and belong to the Piscataway Senior Center. We, my group represents the silent generation and the baby boomers. And I'm talking about the activists, socialists, and folks we stood for freedom. Um, that's the baby boomers. And our silent generation, you know, are the ones who deal with what's supposed to be right. They follow all the rules and they don't allow themselves to change. Um, very slow for changing with the group that's considered the silent generation. Now, my group makes up both of those. Our members range from uh, 60 to 100 active members. We just lost a recent active members member who was 102. Um, our group has a diverse group of professionals. That's who make up the Piscataway African-American seniors. We're educators. We have medical professionals. We have legal professionals. We have entrepreneurs. We have accountants. And we have IT professionals. Uh, so we are at that age where some of us are good at what we do, but we can all share the information that we brought forth from our careers. So now I'm gonna have you meet Jeanette, who's gonna talk about how we grow. These are our initiatives. Jeanette, I think you're on mute. I'm sorry. I'm, sorry, sorry. I'm Jeanette Boval. I'm a member of the Piscataway African American Seniors Club here at the Piscataway Senior Center. How we grow and our right, initiatives. We engage with both local and non local communities. Some of us attend the Piscataway Senior Center. We manage booths at the Township Annual Street Fair, the National Night Out, as well as man a booth at the annual Juneteenth celebration. We march with the American Legion Memorial Day Parade. We attend the Muslim Center of Middlesex, their annual interfaith dinner. We visit churches and we participate in the Embassy Suite annual Trick or Treat, Trick or Suite program. At that program, we, we purchase a suite, we decorate it for Halloween, and we pass out Halloween candy to kids who are disabled or somewhat challenged. We provide scholarships for two seniors who reside in Piscataway. We sponsor groups to go to plays at the theater, the local theater. We go to lunch after the plays as a group. We visit places of interest where we can, we can learn more about our history and our culture. Some of the places we have visited is like the National Museum of African American History and Culture, the Harriet Tubman Museum. We have gone on a tour of a historical tour of African American sites in downtown Providence, Rhode Island. We do a lot of socialization and we attend parties and events at the Senior Center. We, event, we attend social events at local churches. We go to music in the park as a group. We play, go to plays in the park as a group. And we do lunch at various restaurants. 
We attend recognition dinners and celebrations that are sponsored by various organizations. Um, what else do we do? We nurture our mind. We nurture our minds by reading, doing puzzles, doing games. We, um, some of us participate in Inner Essence, which is a program that's geared to enhance our energy levels and increase our body functions. We do Tai Chi, bring you back to Jai Schools, who will tell you a little more about our problems. Now, this is Joyce again. Why do we do this? We call it our sustenance. Because our mission speaks to promoting participation in community activities. All of the social functions that Jeanette talked about, we invite all cultural groups and are involved with all cultural groups. Our goals reflect the pride of us involving ourselves with the various groups. We also participate in political affairs of our community, okay? Many are poll watchers. We cooperate with senior groups within the center and within the community. Those senior groups that we do in our churches, and other cultural groups here at the city center. Because we value, and our values of our family, honesty with one another and respect. I also um, recently presented the Women's Day program here at the city center that allowed all nationalities of women to involve themselves in the programs. Amy, would you be able to unmute and then I'm going to mute Jeanette so we could hear you better? So if, if you just unmute Amy. So the unmute button is in the bottom left. If you hover over the Zoom box, it's in the bottom left. It says mute. You just press unmute. There you go. Okay. Thank you. So I talked about our missions and how we promote participation in the community. I also wanted to get everyone to know that we also involving the community, we had a, a Women's Day program here, which all cultures, all nationality, all women involve themselves. It is a very interesting program because you recognize how much people want to get involved. They really wanna share their cultures and they wanna share their understanding of what goes on and utilize their talents because we have them speak in their language so that we can all understand and learn to appreciate one another. And those are the ways in which we as a senior group begin to show our gratitude. Uh, we also have crafters and our crafters are of various cultures and background and many of our members belong to that. And so we relate together because they design the centerpieces for the center, they go about uh, while parties and, um, and involvement, and they do a lot of work that enhances the Piscataway Senior Center. Let me say that I also um, have designed a program here and under Amy's direction, thank, thanks to her, in which many of us have joined the PCTV. And we're now learning how to produce and direct programs and be able to tape them live. 
So that's a very interesting project that we are all involved in. And I also um, host a women's show called Women Talk, another way for us to have women of various cultures and backgrounds come together and share. Because one of the things we recognize as seniors is we definitely don't like to be treated as though we are seniors. We have a lot of talent amongst the seniors and we have a lot to offer. Some of our seniors are still working in their profession and still attend the senior center and are able to um, participate. And so I come to my last slide and we called it how we bloom because the way in which we grow is our funding sources. And believe it or not, we're not a 5013C. We do a lot of activities, but we are not a 5013C. Most of our funding comes through donations, donations from seniors, donations from other groups, gifts, gift cards, they what we are granted. Um, other organizations will give us funding. And so you heard Jeanette talk about all of the ways in which we raise funds. Um, so that we can give out scholarships. All of the funds that we do raise go to the young people of Piscataway, um, particularly the graduating seniors, and anyone can apply. <clears throat> it's open to all, and we attend the, I guess, the, the ceremony when they receive their scholarships. We are active and will continue to be active. And one of the things I enjoy about this whole program is being able to be amongst others who are probably all seniors like we are. Um, Jeanette and I both are probably at the end of the baby boomers, but we are still active and still have the energy to get around. And I think that's what keeps us going because it's not sitting at home or doing nothing or knitting. And I just wanna say thank you to everyone your attention. You may have some questions, please feel free to ask them. I've got a question. Thank you okay. for that great presentation. Um, I was wondering if you do much in the way of um, intergenerational events and also if you have activities with the um, Rutgers Medical Facility that's down in the New Brunswick area. Thanks. We do, we do loads loads of inter intergenerational because, because when, when we, we go out trips we get more than just uh seniors and so they are welcome on our trips when we do our programs major programs like our black history program which is monthly and every friday anyone's invited and the young folks come and they are very helpful to us um so yeah, we do a lot of intergenerational. When we do our parades, we make sure we include the um, various groups. Now, are we involved with the Rutgers Medical? I will have to say no. Um, and you know what? I shouldn't say that. I'm quite sure Amy, who is out ill today, is heavily involved and brings programs to the center. I don't have all of the details, but I know that that is what she does. Does that answer your question? Yes, thank you. Okay. Any question? other questions? Yes. Uh, I'm wondering if you have the opportunity to uh, take the uh, members out into nature at all. Oh yeah. We go out into nature when we do picnics. We go out into nature when we do uh, bus rides because we are stopped being at various places. Um, Jeanette talked about us going to the Harriet Tubman. Well, part of that trip is a large nature walk in order to um, be part of that bus group. But we do lots of nature walks. And the Thank seniors you. love it. I have a question as well. Um, what do you do, or what's your process for getting volunteers? How do you get people? in the community to volunteer? What's our process? I want, I, I, I'm chuckling because we are the volunteers. 
but we can get the uh, young people to help us out when we need them. When we do parties here at the center, uh, we connect with the ROTC of the high school. They not only come in and do the serving and helping out in any form or fashion that we ask, but they will also join us at the parties and enjoy themselves. So yeah, we can call on the high school. They are very acceptable when we make a request. And so how, how can we connect with you, with your group, if we wanted to support, um, potentially volunteer, donate? How will we connect with you? You can connect with us uh, through the center, through Amy Bauman. She will definitely be able to give us information. Um, I'm trying to think without, well, you can also connect with myself, uh, okay. the president, and my Gmail is colesj7 at gmail.com, lowercase. And we are always welcoming speakers to come in and talk on any particular topic. We're having a woman come next month on genealogy. So we always welcome speakers, financial speakers, people who want to talk about wills. And Amy makes sure one of the things she does for the entire center is to make sure we have the appropriate people to give us information that we need. Oh, right, right. And the telephone number to the center, if you don't mind. <laughs> You're always saying you might not it remember it. Of my head. I don't. Oh, it's very it's interesting. It's okay. I can look it up. I can look it up. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay, then I will say thank you all. Thank you. There much. was a there was a question in the chat. Someone asked um, how many people are involved in the senior center. <laughs> in the senior center daily, you can have a close to two hundred people. Okay, my group actually has forty five active members. Um, that come out and participate. But the senior center is 200 daily because there's so many classes going on here. Let's do they do they also serve um, lunch or, or meals at the yes. senior center? Lunch is served. Lunch is served every day at the senior center. You need only sign up. Some people just want to bring their lunch in um, versus being able to... Um, have the food that the senior center provides. Is there a fee associated with that? They ask for a donation. The county asks for a donation of $22.25. But you don't have to have the $225 because some people cannot afford that. It seems like a small amount, but that's $225 a day, and many are living on a pension. Um, so they don't do that. Thanks. Okay, the, uh, here is the center number. Jeanette was kind enough to get it for me. It's 732-562-1133. And I want to say thanks to all. I don't see any other questions in the chat, but thank you all. This has been an experience for us. Thank you so much. Thank you. So um, we just got a notice from the main room that we have five more minutes in the breakout session. Um, so if anyone has any other thoughts or reflections that they want to share, please, please go ahead. I have a, 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 a thought, and that is many people think that when you become a senior, you can't do much, okay? And one of the things here at the Piscataway Senior Center, we try to make sure that people recognize that is not so. Seniors can function every single day. They do Zumba. If you've ever dropped by this center, you will see Zumba classes, step classes, full, okay? Um, taekwondo classes, full. We are a very active center and these the seniors here do much. And so I just want to dispel the myth that seniors get to a certain age and 
are fairly handicapped. I have a question. What what do you think that um, the senior center in Piscataway really most needs when you go out to the when you have your events and things like that? What are you looking for? What are you asking for? What do you wish was available uh, to you? I probably want to say larger space. Yeah. Every room here is taken up. If we could get extra space to run programs, it would be wonderful. I mean, every room is taken up. It is very difficult because they also do pool here, you know, uh, so that it is a fairly crowded center. I have a comment. My name is Pamela Gaston, and I'm a senior. I'm 70 years old, and I'm still oh, working <laughs> for, for the New Jersey Commission for the Blind and Visually Impaired. And I wanted to offer that our agency would come to the, your center by invitation and do vision screening for everyone free of charge. Well, that and sounds that's a that's an option that's open to any uh, organization. If you get in contact with us, and I'll put the email in the chat. Uh, oh, please do. We will come to your organization and do free vision screening. And we're able to help people who need eyeglasses uh, and are unable to afford them to get eyeglasses. We do diabetic screenings um, and we let people know if they need further eye care. You know what? That is very, very helpful. Um, people will definitely appreciate that. Okay, so yes, I will be looking forward to your number in the chat so I can share it with Amy. Thank you. Any other questions? Hey. I'm going to turn it back to you, Claire. Awesome. Yeah. So we only have two minutes left until we're going to be sent back to the main room, but we want to thank you for your incredible presentation. And there was, there was a lot of wonderful things shared and a lot of opportunities for connection across the different attendees. So it sounds like, um, Pamela put herself, put her email in the chat, um, yes. so that you could connect. Yes. I thank her. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Clara, it's Julia. I just, since we have one minute, I was going to ask a quick question to Amy. Um, have you been able to um, attract the, the assistance of your county division on senior services for some support? I know you mentioned you are not um, a nonprofit technically, but you might be able to combine efforts with, uh, you know, a, a partner in the area that is a nonprofit. Sorry, I meant to have my video on um, and, and be able to apply for and receive grants from the county. You know, we've only received one. You, and this is not Amy. This is Joyce. It says Amy Bellman, but it's Joyce Coles. Amy oh, I'm was sorry, the one I'm who sorry. Yes, Joyce. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, we have received one grant, but I like that idea um, because we have not, we certainly could use the funding. Right. Okay. So thank you. Sure. Awesome. So it, we just got the pop-up box that says this breakout will close in 40 seconds um, yep. and then we'll head back to the main room, but Thank you so much, Joyce and Jeanette, for this amazing presentation. Thank you.